In this video we're going to look at how to reflect a shape in a line of reflection. We're going to start off with a simple example like this one where it says reflect the shape in the line x equals 6. Reflect means that you are going to be doing a mirror image. So make sure that you know that word reflect. Most people do. Um, if you're going to reflect this shape in the mirror image um, and make a mirror image which is in this line here um, there's a, a couple of ways that you can do it one way that you can do it is to trace your shape like this also trace the line of reflection and make sure to sort of include two sensible points that you can choose if I pop the light on underneath that you'll be able to see. Now what you can do is you can take your piece of tracing paper, turn it over, match up the two points that you just used and that should be the position in which your shape should go. So let's draw it in that position. There we go. and that's done. I've reflected the shape in the line x equals 6. I haven't spoken about the equation, this, this x equals 6 business, because in this question um, I gave you the mirror line which was here. But you do need to know when you're doing reflections, you do need to know some simple equations of different lines. I guess the question is, if I hadn't given you this line of this mirror line, how would you have known where it would, it would have gone? Well, what you need to remember are these different shapes of graphs. If you've got a line which is going straight up, then it's called x equals whatever the number is. In this case, it was 6. The line was going straight up through 6. So the equation was x equals 6. If you've got a line which is going straight across, its equation will be y equals some number. If you've got an equation which is going exactly diagonal, and it must pass through 0, 0. That is the equation y equals x. And if you've got a diagonal line which is going downwards like that, OK, I've written the wrong thing there, the equation of that is y equals minus x. So you need to know those four different shapes of graphs. Let's see why it's important to know those four different shapes of graph. Here is a more common sort of question reflect the shape in the line y equals 5. No line is given to you, no mirror line is marked upon the grid. What you need to do is you need to put your own mirror line onto this sort of question. And for that you need to know these different shapes of graph. Since this one says y equals 5, I think it's a graph which will go across like that and you can guess where it's going to go, it's going to go at 5. So my line, my mirror line, is this one here. There we are. I hope you can see that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect this shape using that line. Now once again, I can use a piece of tracing paper There we are. I'll put a couple of points on there for my line of reflection and then all I'm going to do is flip my piece of tracing paper over and that's the position in which the answer needs to go. Let's just show you that a little bit clearer. If I put the lamp on. A bit clearer. Not quite. There we go. Okay. So you can see now what I've done. I've taken the, the tracing that I did, I've flipped it over and I've lined up my line, my mirror line, like that. And you can see where the shape needs to go. It needs to look like this. Obviously you should try and do this a bit neater than I'm doing it. There we go. That is the reflection of the shape in the line y equals 5. Okay, let's have a look at a slightly more tricky one now. 
This time I've got to reflect the shape in the line y equals x. Try to remember what those shapes of those four different graphs I showed you were. Here they are. y equals x looks like this. It's a diagonal line and it passes through 0, 0. So the line of reflection that we're looking for is this one. Like that. Now people find these diagonal lines of reflection really difficult to cope with. You can either use your piece of tracing paper, and that is quite an effective way to do this. Let's just uh, trace that. Like that. Let's trace that line, making sure I've marked on the endpoints. And then if I flip the piece of paper over, line it up, you can see where it's got to go. Unfortunately, like I've done it there, I've done it a little bit out and it's not quite as accurate as I'd like it to be. There is a slightly more accurate way to do it, which is to count the squares between your shape and the mirror line. If you've got this point here, which I'm going to label A, and you count diagonally the squares, so this is one square diagonally, go the same distance the other side, so carry on straight on through one square, and that is where that point needs to end up. Let's just zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it a bit clearer. Okay, so we've got that point there, one diagonal square on this side, and then one diagonal square on the other side. If I choose another point, i use a different colour pen for this one, this one here, and if I label this one as a B, put in my diagonal line, this time I have to go one and a half squares to find the mirror line, one and a half diagonal squares, one and a half. So I do the same on the other side, half a square and then another whole one, so that's one and a half diagonal squares, and that's where my B dash is going to go. So you can see already that what's happened is that this line here, which went from A to B, has switched orientation, is now a horizontal line going from A dash to B dash. Probably doesn't take too much more to have a go at C here, which is one and a half, so I go one and a half, and there I find C dashed, like that, and I hope now that you can see how we're going to fill in the rest of the shape. You could carry on like that with a few more points, but you should be able to see it's going to end up in that position. Okay, if you are unsure, make sure that you get some tracing paper and you use it, because that way um, you're going to be able to make sure that you've got the, the shape, the right orientation. Then try and stick to the whole grid lines so that you are not drawing something in, in the wrong position. Try to, try to stick to the whole squares. Generally speaking, examiners are going to give you a shape which fits exactly onto some squares. Right, one last one then. We need to try this one, which is um, the fourth type of line that you can see. It says reflect the shape in the line y equals minus x. And if we have a look again at the sticky note, y equals minus x was this last one that I got wrong to begin with. OK, y equals minus x. It looks like that. It's a diagonal line which passes through these points here. Let's just check that we're going to get that right. There we are. So that's my mirror line. I'm going to reflect this shape here. And I'm going to do this one entirely using um, counting of squares. So here we go. This shape, this point here, one and a half squares, one and a half squares goes there. This shape here, one, two, three squares, one, two, three squares comes down to that, and I can draw the line in between those two. 
this shape here one two squares diagonally so I count again one two squares diagonally draw the line in and I hope you can see how this is going to go now shape ends up looking like this which is the correct position don't be afraid to use the tracing paper to get an idea of where the shape is going to go but do make sure that you check out by counting squares afterwards